Hello and welcome. I'm Ashley with Aria Entertainment and today we're going to cover timbre, sound envelopes, and analog and digital sound. And what is sound part four? First, before we get into timbre, we have to talk about waveforms. Waveforms are a representation of a sound's shape. For instance, this right here is called a sine wave. Its shape is a constant wave. There are other kinds of waves too, such as square, triangle, ramp, or sawtooth, and more. A sine wave is what we call a pure tone. A pure tone is a single frequency without harmonics and overtones. Harmonics are exact multiples of the fundamental frequency while overtones are frequencies in between the fundamental and harmonic frequencies. A fundamental frequency is the main frequency of a note in hertz. This is also called the first harmonic. For example, on a piano, middle C's frequency is 261.63 hertz. Its harmonics occur in multiples of 261.63, such as 523.25 Hz, which is called the second harmonic. Any other tones occurring are called overtones. Timbre is the quality or color of a sound. Timbre is determined by harmonics and how a sound begins. This is a great time to discuss sound envelopes. A sound envelope is how a sound is shaped. There are four stages, the attack, initial decay, sustain, and release. Attack is how a sound begins. Initial decay is the point in which the sound wave begins to lose amplitude. Sustain is when the sound wave holds its characteristics after the initial decay, and release is when the sound wave diminishes until we can't hear it anymore. It's important to know sound envelopes as they can make it easy to identify certain sounds, such as noise, and can make audio editing much easier and faster. Finally, we can discuss analog and digital sound. With an analog recording system, we transform a physical sound wave into an electrical one. We do this by using a transducer. A transducer is something that converts one energy form into another. A common example of a transducer is a microphone. A microphone works by taking a sound wave and turning it into an electrical signal. This is done by vibrating a diaphragm that moves a magnet near a coil. This creates an electrical signal that travels to whatever device the microphone is connected to. Actually, a speaker is also a transducer. Speakers work opposite of a microphone, taking an electrical signal and transforming it into a sound wave. Analog systems tend to have noise, degradation, and signal loss when their recordings are reproduced. However, we fix most of those issues by using a digital system. Digital systems reproduce sound by turning the sound wave into binary data. Most often, we will use both analog and digital systems together. A simple setup can include a microphone, a mixer, sound effect racks, a computer, and speakers to play back the sound. Here is a good place to stop. Next time, we will be getting into acoustics and psychoacoustics. Thank you.